Welcome to another day of In the Garden with Pastor Evangelist Neil Gottman, planting seeds of hope from God's Word. to another day of In the Garden. We're just planting seeds of hope, joy, and peace in your life from the Word of God. You know, when I first became a Christian in 1972, one of the books or one of the letters of Paul that really caught my attention and really drew me in was the letter that Paul wrote to the church at Ephesus. You know, Ephesus was a really large, large city of that day. and On his first missionary journey, Paul went through there, he began in establishing a church uh, while he was there, which was a really challenging situation because it was such a pagan, pagan city. There was a temple there, the Temple of Diana. Uh, they worshipped a goddess of fertility there, and so it was basically a big place of prostitution. There was a huge theater there uh, of over 50,000 seats, so you can understand it was a metropolitan area. It was a trade route, on the trade route, and it was very, very popular. So Paul had a real struggle. And when he left, he uh, on his, finally came back on his third missionary journey. He stayed there and really establishing the church and rooting it in the gospel and the truth of Jesus Christ. He stayed there for three years, the uh, longest that he stayed in any church at any place ever in his ministry. And so I'm going to share over the next few days some thoughts and things from uh, the book of Ephesians and pray that it'll be a blessing to you. I'm just going to read the first three verses of chapter 1 to you this morning. It says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, to the saints who are in Ephesus and faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ. Oh, my goodness, it tells us so much there that he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. I want to ask you, how many times do you pray on a regular basis that God would bless you with spiritual blessings? You know, just like our body needs physical nourishment and physical blessings, just like we pray and ask God for financial blessings, we pray and ask God to bless our family, to bless our food, to bless things. How many times do we actually pray and ask God to give us a deeper, richer spiritual understanding and to bless us with all spiritual blessings? The Apostle Paul has told these saints here in Ephesus that all of those spiritual blessings are available to them, and they're also available to you. So I want you to think about what these things are, what these blessings are. And so we're going to, over the next few days, we're going to just try to zero in on one of those spiritual blessings that Paul talks about here in this first chapter of the book of Ephesians. You know, he, he tells us here that all of these blessings are in the heavenly places in Christ. Every blessing comes to us only because we are in Christ. And God has prepared all things for him, by him, and through him. And so when we are in Christ, we can know that we're going to be blessed spiritually if all we have to do is turn to God and pray and ask Him to give us understanding and understanding in these things that we need to know and understand. Father, I just thank you so much for this day and this opportunity to come. And I pray over the next few days, Lord, that you would just bless us with understanding and a deeper and a richer meaning in our life through these blessings, that these spiritual blessings, Father, that you have shown us here in this letter from Paul. And I pray, God, that you would open our hearts, open our minds, help us to understand, and we'll be faithful to give you the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen.